Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Preston back with another break. This time it's 83 rack packs. We got some Fleer. We got some tops. We got Joe Morgan on the front. These were bought at the National Convention. For only, what are these, 20 bucks? 20, 22 bucks? Got a good deal at those. If you check out my uh, recap of the convention, I've got some really good stuff there. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. We're going to dive right in. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We post there before we go live. Make sure you subscribe and follow and all that fun stuff. We got some big stuff planned. They give me a free top loader there. And that's the part there. This fifth pack is just chewing me up already. This dude was eight bucks. Uh, we're going to be looking for, let's see, are all 83. So it's Tony Gwynn, it's Ryan Sandberg, Wade Boggs. Those are the guys you want. Uh, obviously, some other players like uh, Ripton, Ricky Henderson. What's that, Luke? Getting the pack open? Yeah, Luke uh, is giving me hell for not getting the pack open <laughs> and i deserve it all right our first thing here's the big uh big sticker it's the mets i think that's a sticker right yeah that's a sticker um is there two oh there's two of them we got the mets and the cardinals i forgot these old fleer had stickers in the mets and cardinals stickers Fun stuff. All right. Come on, Wade Box. Wade Box, one of my all time favorite players. Luis Leal of the Blue Jays. Oh, let me adjust here. The Pride of Venezuela. It's David Concepi Concepcion and Manny Trio. Trio, I believe that's how he pronounced it. Rod Scurry. Oh, they was. They're stuck together. Ah, good, good job, Luke, catching the cards sticking together. Ross Bumgarten. We don't want to miss him. Yeah, we almost, we almost let him slip by. Look, a couple, couple old pirates for you there, Pittsburgh fans. Rod Scurry, Reggie Smith, all-time mustache. George Wright of the Rangers. Look at those old Rangers uniforms. Horrible. Horrible. The last perfect game. It's Hassie and Barker. Handsome fellas. Superstar specials. Doug Flynn of the Expos. You older folks might remember the Montreal had a baseball team. Scott Sanderson. Would have won a world championship if it weren't for the strike, and it might have saved baseball in Montreal. Dave Edwards. What you got, Luke? Well, Luke saw San Diego and uh, thought it might have been Tony Gwynn. He got all excited for no good reason. John DeAquisito. Dennis Eckersley, Carl Yastrzemski, and uh, Mr. Clear. Mark Clear, superstar special, Eckersley mustache, that's a superstar for sure. Jorge Orta, looking a little groggy there, it's been a long day for Mr. Orta. Vincente Romo, I got excited there for a second, it almost looked like uh, Fernando Valenzuela, who I don't even think was playing baseball in 83, was he? Rick Leach. Yeah, he was. He was around. Ivan De Jesus. What's he doing? What's what kind of gesture is that? Looks like he's about to punch a cameraman or the producer off stage. Throwing his hands up like what? What's the problem? Take the picture. Let's go. Brett Butler. Looks like a happy guy. Bob Watson. 
Louise Pujols. That's a beautiful uniform. All-time uniform right there. Bill, I'm not even going to attempt that. Manny Castillo. Gene Petralia, we're getting to the end and nothing good yet. Rance Mullikins. Mullinix. Rance Mullinix. Looks like old Rance has a chew in there. Rance. That's a that's an awful name. Tom Paciorek. Hey, it's Mario Soto of the Cincinnati Red Legs. That's a bad print there. Don Money. Probably pronounced Money. Don Money. The sideburns are certainly money. Mickey Rivers, come on, give me one good card. Last card, it's not. It's Mike Richard with a silly T on the end of his name. And a horrible Rangers jersey. They had some horrible Rangers jerseys back then, didn't they? All right. Well, the Fleer ones were poop. We got a Concepcion and uh, Eckersley and Yaz together. All right, let's have better luck with the rack packs here, the tops. How did we get these open back in the day? Where's the... Got to peel them. Nope. See, on these, you go to the store when you were a kid and you were... You were hoping, well, I guess not everyone was a kid in 1983. I was. But you, you'd be hoping to see that one of the guys on the front was good. Like Dave Parker would have been a good one. Go, oh, man, this, buy that one. You know you got a Dave Parker, Joe Morgan on the front of the other pack, for example. I need to take like a pack opening class, apparently, because... I don't, I don't do a great job. It seems like I have more trouble than I should. Steve Yeager on the front there. Yeah, I paid Luke to come down and just open the packs for me. My goodness. i get the scissors out. Maybe I should have just done that to begin with. All right. Our first 1980. Ooh, Jim Palmer, I saw there on the back. Let's move this garbage off to the side. All right. Let's go. Dave Parker. Great player. That's with the Pirates there. Also had a ton of success in Cincinnati. Yeah, I did know his nephew. I hung out with Dave Parker's nephew a lot in uh, the early 2000s. I lived in Finneytown, Ohio, hanging out at Lulu's Tap Room every night, shooting pool, running those guys out of the building. Denny Walling. Yeah, he told me some good stories about Dave Parker. Not all of them uh, kid-friendly. Tony Pena, he was a good player, also for the Pirates there. Larry Christensen. U.L. Washington. There's a printing error on that one. A lot of these uh, seem to be centered pretty well. Louis Pujols, you'll uh, get back in this time period. You'll see some awful centering. Carney Lansford was a really good player. Uh, he's the reason that Wade Boggs was stuck in the minors as long as he was. Tippy Martinez. Tippy is an all-time great name, Tippy Martinez. Jeff Zahn. The guys that spelled the name G-E-O-F-F. -F. Jeff, just, just change it. Just spell it the right way. I don't care what's on your birth certificate. That's silly. Jeff with a G. Jerry White. Ken Singleton. Hey, got a couple of viewers hanging out with us. We're looking for some all-timer rookies. Larry Herndon, these are 1983 tops. You probably read the description. It's right in the video. That's probably on your screen. I'll, I'll stop talking about it. Glenn Hoffman, Enrique Romo. 
I do like those old pirate hats. The rest of the uniform, not so much. We got Terry Francona. There you go. Boston fans. That's him in his uh, Montreal uniform. Bubba Smith's card says, nice. Thanks for hanging out, Bubba Smith's card. Make sure you go over to his YouTube channel. Check him out. Rick Cerrone. Saron, Cerrone. Cerrone, very good mustache. I don't remember Rick Cerrone. Jim Palmer, very, very good player, an undervalued player. Did he make? He hasn't gotten in the Hall of Fame, has he? Did he get in? Did he get in on Veterans Committee? It seems like it took him a while. Was he a first ballot guy? Oh, geez, my memory's not great. Steve Yeager there. I got my buddy Luke talking in my ear on Bluetooth. He feeds me some tidbits every now and again. There we go. George Brett, all-star. One of the best third basemen to ever do it. Let's take a quick look because at first glance, it looks to be really well-centered. Like I said before, that can be a problem back in these days. You get a great card and all of a sudden it's super wonky. Yeah, very nice centering on that. George Brett, all-star card. That's a penny sleeve. That'll go on a penny sleeve here when we're done. Awesome. Richard Dotson up next. Those White Sox uniforms. Bob Lillis, manager of the Astros. All-time uniforms there in 1983. Vance Law was Chris Sabo before Chris Sabo. Ed Farmer. Bubba Smith says he'd like to have the whole set. Absolutely. This is some of my favorite cards. The the I probably talked about it in past videos, but just the basic design with the the face and the circle there and the action shot and simple border. Just really good looking cards. Gary Roenick. Pete Redfern. And there we go. One of my favorite players, Andre Dawson. 1983 All-Star card. National League one. Andre Dawson. Excellent. Excellent card. We got Dave Hostetler. Yeah, centered. It is. It's centered pretty well, too, man. This particular cut of cards were centered pretty well. All of them have been so far. Mark Bellinger. Brian Smith. Dwayne Walker of your Cincinnati Red Legs. Willie Wilson. Fast Willie Wilson, they called him. I have no idea if that's true. <laughs> there we go. Super veteran Johnny Bench. That's his rookie shot on the left, 1967. The greatest catcher of all time, no doubt about it. Give me a quick peek at the back. Ooh. Awesome. Also, uh, you know, again, very well centered. This one's pushed off to the left a little bit. Top to bottom, it's good. So, what do you do? Maybe 60 40 there. But, uh, yeah, Johnny Bench. Love me some Johnny Bench. Mitchell Page. Ken Oberkfell. I like the old uh, baby blue Cardinal uniforms, too. Jim Mailer. Mixed reviews on Milwaukee's uniforms back then. I kind of like it the baby blue with the gold highlights. Dick Davis up next. Jerry Huter. Gene Nelson. Oh, stuck together there. Don't want to miss Willie McGee. He was fast, fast Willie McGee. Super fast. Undervalued player. I don't know exactly what his work ended up being or anything, but uh, Bubba Smith card says, nice Johnny Bench. I agree. Such a great player. Sean Raleigh. Larry Gura. 
made the All Star team that year. That ring, that name does not ring a bell at all. Bob Boone, Bert Bev, uh, no, not gonna do it. Not even gonna try. Bev Bevwakwa, Kurt Bevwakwa. There you go, kids. A Bevwakwa card for you. Jim Slayton, Earl Weaver. Oh man. Go go get on YouTube or you're on YouTube right now. So when after this video, hey, who's that? Troy's cards, cards, comics, and autograph says hiya. What's up, buddy? We got one more rack pack to go here. We're looking for some big time 83 rookies. Search up some Earl Weaver tape. This dude was an absolute madman. He would run out onto the field and scream some of the worst stuff you ever heard at the umpires. It, he has to be amongst the, the most thrown out managers of all time. Earl Weaver, kids. Give him a Google. Dude was a maniac and a ton of fun to watch. Pat Corrales. Dave Beard, who ironically did not wear a beard. Very disappointing, Dave. Louis Tiant. There we go. He was a good player. Steve Braun. We got uh, batting and pitching leaders. It's batting average Bill Madlock and John Candera Candelera. There we go. Your Pittsburgh Pirates leader. His name was the Candyman, John Candelaria. I do remember that name. I don't remember the candy man. And Wayne Crunchitz Crunchicky. Crunch Crunchicky. He did. He ended up in the Reds front office, Mr. Crunchicky. Well, no luck there with the rookies. We did see a couple uh, all time veterans, so Johnny Bench and stuff. Uh hopefully I can get this pack open quicker than the last one. Once again, while I'm opening up, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, if you check out the uh, National Convention recap that I put up, make sure that um, – sorry, if you check that out, you'll see uh, we've got some great stuff we're going to open up. Uh, even after this video, I think I'll do another one, maybe pop open some of those blaster boxes that we got. Uh, I got some auction mail stuff that came through the mail. Uh, shout out to RSR Cards and Deafness and um, Crazy for Cardboard. Make sure you check those guys out. I got some great auction stuff to show you that got in, came in the mail this week. Maybe I'll do that next. I don't know. You guys tell me what you want to see. I'll do it. I was very excited to see Joe Morgan on the front of this pack. Um, I am in Cincinnati. And obviously, Joe Morgan winning championships with the Big Red Machine, absolutely beloved. I met him a couple months ago. He stopped by my work, and uh, he was so gracious. He told stories, and he let us aggravate him and talk to him. And uh, when he was done, he's on a cane now, so it's hard for him to walk. Um, but, you know, the guy walked out to his car and got us some autographed Hall of Fame memorabilia stuff and gave it to a couple of us. Um, which was absolutely incredible. So Joe Morgan, um, big, big ups to him. One of my all-time favorite players and a hell of a dude as well. Dennis Lamp up next. Sid Monge. You know the day that, uh, hey, uh, you know the day that um, Joe Morgan was in the store? The, Anthony Munoz was in earlier that day. It was crazy. I saw Anthony Munoz. I, I see him occasionally. I've met him several times, and I, you know, I talked to him and shook his hand. And not, not a half hour later, Joe Morgan walked in. We couldn't believe it. It was incredible. I told Morgan he had just met Anthony, Anthony Munoz, and he says that they talk all the time at local functions. And um, uh, he was sad to miss him. So, yeah, that was a great day for me. Uh, Mookie Wilson. Mookie, uh, your first Mookie, who was Mookie before Mookie Betts was Mookie. Gaylord Perry. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Um, that would have been, God, that had to be his last. Look at all those years. If it's not his last year, it's his second to last year, 1983. Gaylord Perry. Awesome. 
Truth be told, joining us in the chat there. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. He says, Mookie. Everybody loves to scream that name. It's a good name. It makes you want to say Mookie. Terry Poole. Woody Fryman. I remember Woody Fryman. Larry Wins Wisenton. This is old uh, baby blue Atlanta uniforms. I need to wear those every now and again. Rick Monday, Milt Wilcox, it's not a great mustache, you, you see, look, compare the mustaches, obviously, uh, Buck Martinez, a superior mustache there, work on your mustache game, Milt Wilcox, Daryl Porter, look at them goggles, looks like an absolute maniac. This is the guy that shows up to your house and murders you in the middle of the night. Daryl Porter with the Chris Sabo goggles before Chris Sabo. Preston Hannah, my name's Preston. I remember I had this card, as a matter of fact, and I loved it. And I put it in a little protector, even though he wasn't a great player, just because we uh, we shared the same name. And I, you know, the name Preston was extremely rare back then. You hear it a little more often now. But yeah, Preston and I remember I had that card somewhere else. Now we know where Chris Sabo got his look from. Yeah, absolutely. He stole it from Daryl Porter. Alan Bannister. Here's a fun fact. I ran into Chris Sabo at a casino in uh, Indiana one time playing some Texas Hold'em. And uh, nobody would mention it was him because he didn't have his glasses on and we weren't sure Ron Hasse up next. Uh, but when he got up at the table and left, the dealer was like, yeah, that was Chris Sabo. He comes by sometimes. And everybody's like, man, I thought it was him, but he didn't have his glasses on. But I won a $60 pot off Chris Sabo. How do you like that? I got 60 of uh, those red dollars in my bank account thanks to Rick Sabo. Rick Sabo. Reggie Smith. Chris Sabo. Mike Short again. John Castino. Bubba Smith says he's got a Sabo card. I got a bunch. There was a, you know, being from Cincinnati, just too many Sabo cards is what I got. Ellis Valentine. Art Howe. We have not seen one of the three big rookies yet. I'm really hoping we do. Dick Hauser, manager of the Royals. Rick Leach. That's an okay mustache. It's a it's a plus. It's on the top of the scale. It's not a 10 or nothing, but it's a 6 or 7 mustache. Goes good with the gap in his teeth. Mike Ivey. Bob Brinley. Mickey Rivers. Once again, those ugly 83 Rangers uniforms. Bruce Kyson. The nice uh, mini fro mustache combo. Mike Stanton. Again, those Brewers uniforms, I like those a lot. The baby blues with the yellow stripes. Rick Mailer, looking like an absolute caveman. Randy Martz. Ah, there we go, Mike Schmidt. Beautiful. Let's check this one out. Who's the best third baseman of all time? Grizzly Adams, Luke says. I think the answer might be Mike Schmidt. Here you got Mike Schmidt, Brooks Robinson, Alex Rodriguez, if you're a steroid guy. Who's the best third baseman of all time? Put it in the chat there. It's a little pushed off to the left and a little pushed down. So not perfect centering. Obviously, uh, the corners are pretty good shape being new. A little imperfection right along that edge. The camera's not picking it up well, but it's right there. You can see it. Um, but yeah, it's a Mike Schmidt. I love me some Mike Schmidt. Breaks and stuff is hanging out. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. He says, sweet rip. Well, we're getting to the end, and we don't have any of our three big-time rookies yet, and that's making me very sad, but hopefully our luck will turn around and we'll get something here. Billy Gardner up next. Oh, he looks so happy to be there. Billy Gardner having a good time. Barry Bonnell. He has a creepy looking dude, Barry Bino. Bino. Ralph Houck. Jerry Augustine. 
Some great 1980s mustaches in these packs. Yeah, um, I'll, I absolutely will email you, Breaks. Oh, I'll send you a few Chris Sabo rookies, Bub. Ah, oh, beautiful. Why not? I, I appreciate that. Uh, make sure you check out Breaks and stuff. Uh, his channel, he's obviously very generous, man. Wants to send me some Chris Sabo rookies. Ah, beautiful. All right, maybe we are not going to get one of those rookies I want, but we got a Ricky Henderson, 1982 batting and pitching leaders. Uh, he only hit 267 that year for the Athletics, but it was enough to lead them. And then uh, Rick Langford with the 421 ERA. Um, obviously, not a lot of success for the Athletics pitching staff in 1982. There's your team checklist on the back. Beautiful. All right, so we got some Hall of Famers. Real Ricky Henderson there. We saw, uh, what we get? We seen Joe, Joe Morgan and uh, uh, Johnny Bench. Damaso Garcia and Dave Steeb, your Toronto leaders in 82. John Denny up next. Smile, John, you're in the major leagues, buddy. Tom Bergmeier. Dale Murray. Yep, yeah, Breaks and Stuff says he doesn't uh, personally collect Sabo. I imagine that's true for a lot of people outside of Cincinnati. Danny Darwin. But I tell you, he was Rookie of the Year in, uh, was it 88? Um, I think it was 88. Uh, and he was a hell of a player. Obviously, the success they had in 1990, he was a big part of. Um, for a short period of time, Chris Sabo was a really good ball player for us here in Cincinnati. Mike Witt in 1990, I have a, a sweet spot for all those players on that team. I ran in, I get the shout out to Todd Benzinger. He caught the last out of the 90. Um, I'll pass on the Dave Justices, truth be told. I appreciate it though. Um, but uh, Todd Benzinger caught that last out in 1990, and he occasionally stops by where I work. It's always a great pleasure to see him. He represents the last great moment of Cincinnati sports. Speaking of Cincinnati, there's your leaders from 82, Cesar Cedeno and Mario Soto. I have a really good uh, Cesar Cedeno story that I can't tell you here. Um, but if you watch your Dave Chappelle show, you'll understand that uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Al Oliver and Steve Rogers, your 1982 uh, leaders for the Montreal Expos. Again, uh, it, horrible to see that franchise go down. If the strike wouldn't have happened in, what, 94 was that? Uh, they may win a championship because they had a great team that year, and it might have saved baseball in Montreal. Floyd Bannister and Steve Carlton, one of my all-time uh, favorite pitchers. Uh, Steve Carlton, a little undervalued. Um, you don't hear a lot about him when people talk about the greatest pitchers of all time. Hi, Isaac. Isaac Zelenowski stopping by the chat. Hola, Preston, he says. From Tijuana, Mexico. We're international now, folks. Awesome. Love our friends south of the border. Steve Rogers, all-star, and our last cards of Jim Beatty. All right, two rack packs, one, two, and our Fleers, and no of the three, none of the three rookies we really wanted. So that wasn't great, um, but I certainly do appreciate you hanging out. I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Um, please do make sure you stay tuned. Hearing about uh, – here, you guys tell me real quick. You can tell me what you want to see here in about 10 minutes. We'll go live again. I got, uh, I don't want to show you uh, their addresses, I guess, but I got mail from crazy for cardboard. I bought an uh, auction. I got mail from RSR cards from auction and uh, from Mr. Deafness 45, who I got to see at um, um, the national uh, uh, shout out to him and his friends. They were a lot of fun to meet. Um, so tell me, do you want to see that? Do you want to see, uh, I got some optic baseball 
that's my only baseball uh, box. We can rip that real quick tonight if you guys want. And then I got four football blaster boxes. I got uh, with that prestige, and I got this little Don Russ. So, uh, what do you guys want to see? What do you want to see next? Uh, Isaac says, "Open the mail next." Uh, Luke's wanting to see some blaster boxes. Um, we could do it all. You, you guys up to stay up? Oh, everybody wants to see the mail. All right, we're doing the mail next. I tell you what, um, give me about five or ten minutes to get my stuff situated and. Uh, get the new stream up and running. All right. We got mail time coming up next. Once again, I do appreciate it. Shout out to all you guys who uh, joined in. Isaac, truth be told, Bubba Smith cards, breaks and stuff. I certainly do appreciate it. I will email you uh, breaks and stuff as soon as I get a chance. Thanks again for your generosity. I will see you here in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Be good. Have fun. And we'll do it again in a minute.